Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So this uh, video is gonna be a slightly different format. As you know, I've said this in the last few videos, uh, we moved recently, and it seems that the movers actually broke a few things. Um, one of the things that was kind of important to me is this uh, LED uh, desk lamp. I really like it. I'm gonna show that to you here. It um, has a lot of cool features. I can charge my phone on this port here, which is really nice. Um, and I just like the way it looks on my desk, but if you give it a little shake now, you can hear something rattling around in there. And uh, so I wanna try to get to the bottom of that and see what the problem is. If you look, you can no longer plug the USB cable into it because that port is now broken off uh, right there. So the first step really is to just kind of take this lamp apart and then we'll see what's in there and see if we can repair it. I assume that there's gonna be screws under this little foam pad. So the first challenge will probably be to, to get that off. Interesting. All right, bigger screwdrivers over there. I'm only used to really working on small electronic pieces. I'm not used to working on something that requires such a big screwdriver, but yeah, I'm secure in my manhood, so there goes nothing. The thing I like about this silicon pad it is it has these little screw holders over here. You can kind of put things in the layout that you remove them. All you have to do is remember the orientation of the piece that you're taking apart, and then you can lay them out on this grid so that you can keep track of what screws go in, in what holes. And it looks like the USB port is actually what was rattling around in there. And you can see that that has completely come off the board. I'm hoping that we can just unscrew this and then just solder it back on, but we shall see. The, the board itself looks pretty straightforward and simple. And these are the internal screws, so we'll keep track of those as well. But you can see that that seems like it's ripped off the board pretty cleanly without ripping any of the pads off, so that's good. Now all I gotta do is get my soldering equipment out and my glasses, because I'm old. I like them, what do you think? Let's take a little closer look here. I got my wish. I get to work with something very tiny again, so. <laughs> no jokes. I'm gonna test the pins to see if they're solid. Solid, solid. And then flip this over. See if we can get a little more solder to flow in the container holes. Now, if we can do this without having it fall off, that would be even better. And I think it's down better than factory in my butt. Hey everyone, this is Future Dan. I just wanted to let you all know that I've also been doing a lot of work on the coinbot.com website. And I also hope you'll leave some feedback about the website down below in the comments.
I think that will about do it. I have a USB cable. We'll see if this actually works. <laughs> I'm not expecting much. So that came right off. So my soldering job wasn't that great. So I'm gonna take a lunch break and we'll try again after lunch. One minute, 37 seconds later. And okay, I'm back from lunch. I had to move the cameras around a little bit. I don't have a microscope like you see on Northridge Fix or some uh, Stes Fix, those kind of channels. So I'm just using my smartphone. That does make it a little trickier to maneuver. I did try moving things around a little bit and uh, hopefully we'll get a more solid connection and I can actually connect it this time. So um, here goes nothing. We're gonna try to remove uh, this little solder ball here and this one here. I also wanna see if I have a different solder tip. I did turn the soldering iron off before I tried this. I'm gonna tighten that up to make sure we get good heat transfer. Checked each one of these pins to make sure it was solid. We got a good connection. Okay, I think we got a pretty good connection there. After using some hot air, I'm going to try to plug the USB port back in, the USB cable to give it some power and see what happens. So we are getting some power there, so that's good. I think this is gonna work. Okay, so it seems to be working. Uh, the only thing left to do is really put the thing back together and put it back in service. Alright, now I'm going to plug this back before I put that foam cover back on. I'm going to try to plug this back in and just make sure that it's still working. And you can see... The light is still working. That's great when I press the power button. And let's see, the other thing I wanted to test is the charging port. I'm assuming that since the light is working, that everything else is working. You can get different color from it, so that's good too. Powering on and off definitely works. So that is awesome. <laughs> so that should do it for today. I'm pretty excited about this. I get my desk lamp back and the movers, I will forget them. Okay, so take care everyone. That's my two cents for today. I know this video was a little bit different format. Hopefully you found it interesting and I hope you have a great day. Take care everyone, bye.